for its 50th anniversary year. Now to Swan, obviously wanted to produce something special. In this Quan K design Club Swan 50, I think it's produced arguably the most radical looking monohull ever. It's like she's been drawn as a picture poster for, for a kid's bedroom. It's such aggressive, modern styling. It's so refreshing. It's a proper breath of fresh air. Just look at the features. That chunky bowsprit, the dreadnought bow, the camber to the foredeck. That mast is raked right up like a, like a multi-hole really. And then following the lines aft, you have these Beautiful, beautiful might not be the right word, it's masculine really, it's really masculine flared aft quarters. And then just angles everywhere, it's very harsh angular styling. But I just think it's 2016, it's, it's the future, it just looks awesome. Why is she radical? I guess radical for Swan really. This is a full carbon build. She weighs only eight and a half tons. I mean, she planes easily, even under engine. She's properly stiff. It uses full race boat technology really on a, essentially a cruiser racer. You can still weekend on this in, in relative comfort. There's some luxury trim down there. And in terms of the um, deck gear and layout, is very stylishly and cleverly done to be able to manage her. So you've got a full Southern Spars carbon rig package, carbon nor 3DI sails, and then that fathead mainsail in order to be able to let that go through the tacks, for example, you've got these running backstays that are led neatly through the flared aft quarter decks there to these winches aft. And then the main sheet utilizes that full after beam on the traveler. It's then sheeted up through the boom to the mast and then back to these main sheet winches forward of the helm pedestals. That means obviously main sheet trimmer can sit here easily and he's got these traveler control lines on neat purchases under the deck. Um, and again, race boat technology, but you've got um, manual hydraulic pumps here for Outhaul and Jib Cunningham and the the halyards the main and jib halyards are on locks as well. It's it's putting a full race boat inside a, a cruiser racer and it's it's an, an aggressive animal to manage but a good one. So first impressions from sailing and they are very much our first impressions because she is straight out of the box um, and we only had sort of light breeze today but it was only the third time she was sailing and I was surprised I guess my impressions were, you know, that she'd probably be a bit stickier in, in light conditions for our beamy boat. But we were sailing at seven, seven and a half knots in just five knots of breeze going up wind, creating our own apparent wind. And she was a delight on the helm, just super light, obviously with twin rudders. And you may have noticed when heel her over, she pops a rudder out and you, there's a tooth edge profile to that, which is a bit of a Juan K signature. It's designed to stop the rudders stalling out and giving the most efficient surface area to them. Um, that aside, yeah, we sailed um, with, the, with the Jenica as well, which was great because it helped encourage in the light wind that healing angle that she's designed to, to sail optimum at about 15 to 22 degrees heel. Um, and she sits on that aft chine and just really slices through the water. And, um, just great fun. I think it just really left me wanting to sail in a breeze. It's just the sort of the boat you'd want to just take in 20, 25 knots and smoke it off wind. We didn't have that, but it was still a lovely first impression. 
talk about a breath of fresh air. This is a swan. Check out the interior. This teak sole, that's about the only thing that looks swan-like. But even that's just a, a veneer on carbon. Everything is carbon. The board there is carbon. This table is carbon with leather stitched into it. Even the keel fin is carbon. So in terms of layout, quite useful for a race boat crew because these backing boards hinge, hinge up to make pipe cups there. Sleep four crew in the saloon. Obviously, lovely and light. Hull windows, coach roof windows. There's no mast base. Deck step mast, quite a radical feature. So you've got this big bridge here taking the mast base loads. There's no nav station, which helps create room in this, in this saloon. You can have two cabins, which this has, or a second aft cabin as well. Um, this particular boat uses a little micro galley in there, which I think works quite well, um, you know, considering it should be used for weekending, really. Um, and moving forward, clever trick they've done is to split the heads on one side with a wash basin and a shower on the other side with a wash basin. You end up with two wash rooms essentially. And then you go down a step. So you're standing on the bilge level to create the headroom in that in a forward cabin, which is with a low berth, but a comfortable double cabin for a race boat. When I was growing up, swans were always the pinups of the sailing world. Well, I think this Club Swan 50 has rekindled some of that spark. To see her in the flesh for the first time is like, like a kid seeing his first Ferrari. To take it out sailing made me think that she's going to deliver on the performance side that her powerful looks promise. So happy birthday, Nauta. Bring on the next 50.